Sarah, check this out. This is Boom Supersonics XB1 test jet, and it will be start doing supersonic test flights next year. Eventually, it will lead to this. This is a rendering of what they hope to build by 2026. It is a supersonic jet that will carry between 65 and 88 passengers. I know what you're saying. Nobody's flying internationally. It's down 88%. Who's going to want to fly from New York to London in three hours? Wilf, we talked to the CEO of Boom. He says, oh, there's plenty of demand, and it will be there. They already have 30 pre-orders. We'll see what happens after they go through the test flights and they start manufacturing this supersonic jet. Again, 2026, that is the target date, guys. Well, Phil, to answer your question, who's going to want to do that? I do, for sure. I mean, it, but the only thing I was going to quickly say is, <laughs> based on that, uh, that rendering, is, is they've just copied Concorde. It looks exactly like Concorde. Yes, but they say the advanced technologies, the advancements in engine technology, it'll be much quieter, smoother, uh, and more efficient for the airlines, which means lower costs. Theoretically, that means it should cost less for you to go from New York to London like that. Very good, because I know Concord was very expensive. We are out of time. Phil Lebeau, thank you so much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.